Next up, Standard Chartered CEO Bill Winters says digital currency's widespread rollout is absolutely inevitable. So uh, what's going on here? So the CEO says that currencies, digital currencies are absolutely inevitable. Uh, he is from Standard Chartered. First of all, just if you don't know, Standard Chartered is a British multinational banking and financial services company headquartered in London, England. Operates a network of more than 1,200 branches and outlets across more than 70 countries and employs 87,000 people. So pretty big type of institution, I would say. And uh, if the banks are sitting here going, you know what, this is going to be big. I think it's time to really pay attention. I mean, not for us. We know where it's going. But for the other people to come in, it only makes sense, right? He states this, I think there's absolutely a role for central bank digital currencies as well as non-central bank sponsored digital currencies. I wonder which ones those could be. If you don't know, take a look at what PayPal did because they said, you know what? We don't want to deal with securities. So we're just going to go Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. Whatever else they add, they are the kingmakers. I think it's going to be enormous. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Could it be XRP? I know, I know you're all chomping the bit to say it. Oh, it's got to be XRP. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, let me know why or what it is and why you pick it. That will be interesting. Standard Charter is set to announce further news as far as digital assets along these lines in the coming days, he added. So hopefully the announcement is we are going to totally embrace central bank digital currencies we're also looking at x y and z <laughs> crypto to implement because he says right here non-central bank sponsored digital currencies would be fantastic just it's interesting and i think when i see all these stories i think to myself there's a lot of big things going on and i don't really care if the market pulls back or it drops 40 percent or 60 percent whatever else you can kind of see what's going to happen i don't know if it's good, I mean, I don't know when it's going to happen, but I know it's going to happen. So I've, I've always said it's not about the if, it's about the when. And I think when is 2021, 2022. Those are the big years, but only time will tell. And to finish up this article, winner said the greatest opportunity for digital currencies could be in new niche segments that don't replicate existing fiat currencies. He states the really interesting developments for me is to have currencies that don't match a currency in and of itself, but are intended to capture either a superset of a subset. So really breaking down into those small niches. And that's the whole thing with business as well. If you want to be successful, it's not about having a me too company. It's about catering to the niches. And that's really what uh, sets people apart. And they have built their whole career on it. So if we take a look at cryptocurrency digital assets. Like I always felt like currencies, you can only have so many currencies, right? That's why I always say cryptocurrency and digital assets, because there can only be so many currencies. But if you take a look at other types of factors, like, I mean, Ethereum, we have, of course, DeFi and everything else building on that, all the dApps. And the biggest thing that always comes to mind is VeChain because it can help with uh, counterfeit uh, type of items, but not only counterfeit, but you can also track uh, medication, you can track food, you can track perishables, all the things that need to be tracked on the blockchain, and you can really eliminate a lot of costs. I mean, heck, Walmart did that not too long ago, and they they cut like, uh, I think they said like 90% of the costs. And another pharmacy said the exact same thing. And it was almost instantaneous. So when we start to see these types of people start to talk about it, it's just kind of swirling all around us. And I think there's big things uh, in store. So let me know what you think in the comment section. Let's move on to our last piece, which is, I think, <laughs> kind of negative. <laughs>